Robert Scott, and I'm with Adam Pfeffer. Adam is the chair of the BayWorks website subcommittee, and he's also the senior water quality engineer at San Jose Water Company. And Adam's going to tell us about BayWork as a knowledge sharing tool. Adam, first of all, tell us about BayWork a little bit. What is BayWork? Or who is Baywork? So Baywork is a consortium of over or almost 30 water and wastewater agencies in the Bay Area, and it is focused on workforce reliability and uh, trying to uh, maximize results uh, by the efforts of those agencies in, uh, in fortifying the workforce that we have here. Oh, that's great. That seems like a great work that uh, Baywork is doing. Um, so tell us then about this um, website as a knowledge sharing tool. Why was this tool developed? Well, I can really only speak to uh, my efforts since uh, I c I've come on board. I became chair of the committee uh, three or four years ago. And at the time, our, our main focus was on access to resources. So there's a tremendous amount of content that Baywork has developed for workforce reliability, some of it about candidate development. We have a bunch of how-to manuals. We post frequent workshops, which are recorded. And, uh, and all of those had a home on the Baywork website, but it was kind of like a big pile, where uh, unless you knew what you were looking for, you had no chance of finding it. And uh, somebody who stumbled onto the site would have no idea what they were looking at. So our main goal was to try and sort out and display the contents that had been developed in a way that they would be useful to not only people who already knew about Baywork and involved in it, but anybody who came across the site as, as a result of a search and uh, would, would be able to see what kind of contents we had and, and make use of those contents for themselves. Okay. Um, so um, how has this tool been used? So uh, we currently use it as, a, as a, an aggregation um, platform for for uh, all of the videos that we do, for recordings of workshops. Uh, we have a section for how-to manuals, and it, it works, uh, it's search-based, so you can look for keywords for the things that you're looking for. And um, whether you are looking for uh, some details or, or relearning you know, a workshop you went to last week or you want to show it to your coworkers, or whether you're doing research on, you know, I have to put together a, uh, a retention, a workforce retention strategy, or a salary, uh, industry salary study. How can I even go about that and um, have those resources available for, for both our, our um, signatory agencies and for anybody else in the industry that that's, uh, would make good use of those, those materials? Wow, that's a lot. Um, I, I take it then that since it is a website, then it's available for use for people all over the world. That's true. That's true. Uh, we actually do an analysis, we do a breakdown of, of where all the hits to the website come from. Mm. And the majority uh, has always come from the United States. Uh, but but <clears throat> each year it's interesting to see who the top five countries are. Wow. We've gotten lots of hits from India and Brazil, as well as Great Britain in the last five years, as well as Canada. Canada is usually in the top three. Oh, wow. Wow. That's great, man. Um, so, um, you mentioned some of the, the uh, benefits that you derive from it, but are there any other benefits you'd like to tell us about that's come out of this um, tool? Um, well, with, with the advent of, of more rapid technology, um, I think that, that if you're uh, able to think critically about who your users might be for any material that you develop, that there are really good search <clears throat> algorithms that can make a world of data available if people can know what to search for. Okay. So it's really, it's really um, <clears throat> phenomenon is almost like a shop window, where if you've got a lot of stuff in your shop that can be a lot a benefit to society, but your shop window is a mess, nobody's ever going to come in the store. Okay. So, so that kind of paradigm about what to put in the shop window and how to organize it so that people will know what's there and know what they can come in and, and make good use of is really kind of the, the, uh, the thinking behind the design of the website. Okay. Um, 
you mentioned um, earlier that um, there's information there about salary comparisons and I suppose uh, uh, employment opportunities and things of that nature. Is that true? Yes, yes. So uh, that uh, both those kind of predated my tenure as a chair, but uh -huh. um, but they worked as have a, a job posting board that anyone posting uh, from uh, water wastewater uh, utilities in in the Bay Area is free to post and employment opportunities, not even limited to water and wastewater. So if you're a utility that does power as well, you can post your job opportunities on, on that site. It is moderated, but it's available to anybody. So then, anyone interested in getting into the water wastewater industry, this will be a good place for them to go. Absolutely, and it shows. We also have sections about career pathways and what type of training and preparation um, one would need to undertake to become a viable candidate for any of the mission critical jobs wow. in the water and wastewater industry. Wow! Wow! Sounds like a great tool. Um, any suggestions you have for any organization or agency that's interested in putting together some type of web website that serves a purpose like this? Any suggestions that you have for them? Um, have a have a, a model. Uh, any you need a vision okay. for, for what you want to do, and um, there's a lot of companies that have put a lot of time and thought and energy and effort okay. into trying to make sleek and accessible and intuitive platforms for for what they want to do. So. Uh, you know, do some browsing and, and try and get a, a vision for what you want. We're kind of making that vision come to reality. Because no web developer, no technical person is going to be able to intuitively assess exactly what's best for you. You have to come with that vision. Okay. All right. Great. There you have it. Um, this is the Bayward Knowledge Sharing Tool, which is a website. And I'm here with Adam Pfeffer, and he's the chair of the website subcommittee at Bayward. Um, so there's the tool, and you're welcome to use it, and I would advise you to go check it out. I'm sure there's a lot of things there that you can learn or just glean from or be inspired by at the Bayward website.